the breeze I need to clean. Uh, the breeze is different. The breeze is different. So you're better off having all your debris on one tile, technically. But there is an issue with that as well. Because when you're trying to calculate like 300 different entities at different temperatures on one tile, and then you introduce a new element that's a gas to that one tile storage, you may have a lot of weird calculations going on that becomes obsessive. So it's like if you have your one tile storage and then you have heat transfer going on with this tile, you could see how that causes lag. Now, I haven't ran into that issue yet, but what's recommended is you put a insulated tile underneath and then if possible, make this a vacuum. That's too much work in my opinion. So, I think this is fine. However, if you do run into lag, this might be the first thing to replace. Because heat transfer to your one tile storage like that is the is pretty big calculation due to the number of different entities on it and the different temperatures of the items on the tile. But it would be like this, just you want insulated tiles here, if possible. Going to sleep legit? Enjoy the stream. Big up the mom for me. Yo, man. Got you Anubis. Rest will rest easy. And we'll see you next time, man. Thank you for stopping by. And of course, hope you have a good one. I take the brine, because why not? We would have mined more liquids. We were running out earlier today anyways. Big stream for you? Uh, Big stream for me? What do you mean? JP? Dude, what the heck? Hey, Anubis, coming in with the five gifted. Holy shit. Thank you so much. Mercury to fulminate. We also have Xanthez, Zeke, Love Diddle, and uh, Psycholution. Hey, thank you so much, Anubis. And of course, you guys right there that I just named, you guys know who to thank. Enjoy the emote, the 20 dice ad free viewing. Don't forget that legit sub badge, courtesy of the homie Anubis Gaming. But dude, thank you so much for the support. I see you over there, Dubis. Of course, hope you have a great night. I know you're heading to bed. Thank you for the uh, the parting gift. <laughs> oh, long stream. Uh, I'll probably be going on for another hour, at the least. But guys, can we? You guys have the Mamba emotes, man. Can we get some pogs? Pog champs, pog slides, pog. Any any pogs, man. This guy just hooked us up, man. Only way to do it. Thanks for the love, I know, right? Holy crap. But uh, I usually stream like six hours-ish to eight hour-ish. That, that's, that's the range normally that I try to maintain, six to eight hours. But yeah, uptime, exclamation point uptime, if you guys don't know how long it's been. And I, we are around five hours right now. Pog champs! I see you guys over there. Alright, so we got that. So how do I want to do this? Each row is going to be the same. So the tiles above this doesn't matter. Another thing about this is that sleet weed is only one tile tall. Alright? So that's a benefit. So, hey, what's going on, Kelatisa? Hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. How are you today? How's the Thursdays? If we do two tile space, that's fine. Uh, that's a good question. How many tile space do we want? We could technically remove one of these tiles right here. So that... I could have my critter drop off here. So I could have this be pretty short. Doing good. Sold two cars today, so it's a great day. Damn! You sell cars? I didn't know that. That's awesome, dude. 
Oh, but the spacing requires me to have it here. Because it's one, two, three, four. And then I'll have the tile here. Yeah, I have to do it like this. Otherwise, the pips can't plant properly. I forget about that. But hey, awesome, awesome. I see you over there, Kit Latisa. Sold two cars. I didn't know you were a car salesman, saleswoman. But dude, congrats. How much commission do you get? Or is that you sold it all and you get, you know, you get the whole thing. <laughs> Sales human, what's going on, Poster? I see you over there. I got interested in bidding, uh, building a PC. It's so much fun. It's it's uh, it's a bad time to get into building PCs because it's expensive to do so, man. Holy crap. You get $600 per car in these two deals? Nice. Sounds like you're going to have a nice dinner tonight, man. So you better be celebrating because I would. <laughs> I'd celebrate the sale, man. Hell yeah. But yo, man, that's awesome. Great to hear the uh, good days and the good news. Bosher, how have you been? I see you over there, man. Hope you're doing well. I considered stopping and getting dinner, but my son was asleep. Also, I walk like 5.5 miles today, so I'm kind of tired. That's even more reason to get uh, get dinner, though. You're too tired to cook, man. It, it'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, man, it's, oh, I'm too tired to cook. And yeah, that, that's, that's, that's normal. But hey, I get you, though. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Still awesome, nonetheless. You can still order pizza or something. So I gotta ask, man. Sandwiches and hot Cheetos. Oh, dude, you gotta put the hot Cheetos in the sandwich. That's the trick. Does anyone do that? Does anyone put chips inside their sandwich? I like doing that, man. You get that crunch, you get that flavor. That's That changes up the sandwich. Because it's like, at the end of the day, you know, when it reaches the stomach, it's all the same. But having it together inside the, the burger, sandwich, or whatever it is, it tastes so much better. I do that with fries, too. Like, if I get a very savory, like, burger, maybe something like a bacon cheeseburger or something like that, it's very salty. I try to put some fries in so that it, it makes it a little bit more, like, balanced. And it usually adds a good amount of flavor. Fries in the in the gyro wraps. Hey, that stuff is delicious, man. That stuff is delicious. I love me my uh, gyro wraps. Those stuff, man. Beef and lamb. That's the business right there. Will it blend? It doesn't need a blend. Stomachs don't care about that. <laughs> I put them in my sandwich and buy Frito brand jalapeno cheddar dip. And I dip them in that in the sandwich. Oh, that sounds bomb. That sounds bomb, dude. Man, guys, is there anything like that that you guys enjoy doing? I'm looking for food hacks, if you guys know what I mean. I'm looking for food hacks, man. Is there a food combination that's not so common that you guys do or like to do that you guys want to share with us, man? Like, like in my case, chips inside the sandwich looks like it's pretty popular and you guys do it too. But is there anything else like that, man? Because, you know, life's short. You got you to gotta try things out, right? So a lot of the times you, you want to check those things out and see if it's worthwhile. Salt and green onions. Wait, so we just eat it like that? Salt and green onions? That's a, I don't know, man. Snacking on onions? It sounds like it's a trap. Like, I'm gonna go out and be like, man, your breath smells. I'll be like, oh, my bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? It's a European classic. That kind of sounds like sour cream and onion dip, though. I had a friend who would eat apples with salt. So here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I eat watermelon with salt. 
And and the logic is when you eat something salty and something is semi-sweet, it will taste sweeter because of the contrast. It's similar to how there's salted caramel. Tastes sweeter than regular caramel for that exact same reason. So the salt on the apple, it's actually not that bad. There's another thing here though. Uh, I'm in SoCal. So one of the things we have is called chili powder, which is salty. We actually put chili powder on top of the apple slices. So one of the things growing up I saw in a lot of like, you know, richer neighborhoods was they had caramel and sliced apples. I'm from the hood. We don't have caramel. So we have chili powder and sliced apples. And I'm not gonna lie, man, that stuff is delicious. That stuff is delicious. Sliced onion pickled in pickle juice. So pickled onions. That's actually something that's really good too. It's a great side dish. Pickled onions, pickled cabbage, sauerkraut, kimchi, whatever you want to call it. Those things, man, having that on the side is really good. I'm a fan of that as well. I don't know why, man. I, I, I love pickled vegetables, if you guys are a fan of that. If you guys ever are, are about that life. Pickled vegetables are pretty bomb, man. Pretty bomb. Croque monsieur, after they're baked, put it in the oven with bolognese and pasta and final cheese on top. Bake it till the cheese is nicely melted. A croque monsieur. So that's a... That's a ham sandwich with cheese between two slices of French toast. And then you put that in bolognese and you put cheese on top. I feel like the sweetness kind of like makes it weird. Pickled apples taste like apple pie. Wait a second. How do you pickle apples? Doesn't that make it sour? I'm confused, man. That's interesting, though. Croque monsieur with bolognese. That doesn't sound like it would be tasty, though. I guess that's one of those things that's like, I gotta try it to, to be a believer. Put the croc in, uh, monsieur, in a plate, bolognese on top, pasta on top of that, finish it with cheese. Oh, you put pasta on top of that. Oh, oh, my bad. So it's supposed to be like a surprise meatball or something like that? <laughs> a surprise or something inside the pasta. Have you tried roasted garlic? Yes. Uh, one of the things I love to do is I take tin foil. And I put the whole clove of garlic, the whole bulb of it. I cut off the ends, drizzle olive oil on it, wrap it up in the foil. And I, I would put it in the oven, but I don't have an oven. So I instead put it in the stovetop, low heat, and I let that cook. After an hour, all the, un uh, all the garlic melts. And I could actually just use a fork and press down on it, and it's basically a paste. And then I use that, a little bit of butter, a little bit of salt, put that on bread. And it's delicious. I know what you're talking about, if that's what it is. That stuff, that stuff is delicious. Kind of, yeah, hmm. Are there restaurants that serve that Anubis? I might have to check it out. Is there a name for that? I, I imagine there, there's not a name for a dish like that, man. Exactly that. I see you over there, legit Roman. Dude, that's honestly how I make garlic bread. Like, any other way is, is kind of a lie. Like, you can't do it any other way, man. Same as you pickle anything else, but you add more sugar. Oh, and you add cinnamon to that. What about vanilla? Or does that ruin the process? <laughs> One of my cats is watching Mamba. Oh, you can't see his face. <laughs> you can't see his face. 
Hopefully it's not getting the uh, kitty cat angry. I will not want that to happen then. One, two, three, four. All right, so this would have to be the last layer. Hopefully the cat's not being angry at the Bomba. I don't want to get the kitty cats angry. All right, all right. So guys, if you guys don't know what we're doing, we are making what's known as a wild farm. We're going to be glowing, uh, growing sleet weed over here. And that's going to be the plan. A little bit of sleet weed. Never tried to add vanilla to it. But it would only need a drop or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vanilla is that strong. I don't know if it ruins the pickling process. Though. That's what I'm curious about. Because the thing is, is that you could add something and doesn't that potentially ruin the preservation process? I don't know if vanilla affects anything like that. But, you know, I'm just thinking about like ingredients you would normally have in apple pie. That would be a great snack that you could keep for a long time, to be honest. If you like spicy Italian pizza, it's pretty interesting. I had, I don't know what it's called. Someone in chat, if you guys are familiar with it, let me know what it is. There was a, um, there was a girl I fancied back in high school when I was a young to legit city. And that was before my city building days. I was young. I was stupid. You know, it's the days of our youth. And I fancied a girl that was Armenian. And on one of the days, she brought what was called Armenian pizza. I remember she told me the name of it, but I completely forgot the actual name. But it was best compared as Armenian pizza. But it was basically like something on flatbread. And it was, it was delicious. It was delicious. I don't know what it was, man. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Does anyone know what that dish is? I gotta find out, man. That stuff was, was something else. It was, it was really good. Now, what's... Indian pizza. I know Indian people have a lot of uh, spice they like to add. Nothing wrong with spice. I just can't handle it that well. X cage. That's got to be a Gotham joke. That's got to be a Gotham joke, dude. He's trying to get me with the a these nuts. No, man, you're not gonna get me today. <laughs> You're not gonna get me today, buddy. I see you over there scheming against me. The, the moment I pronounce that, he's gonna be like, yo, these nuts. Google that, okay. Oh shit, that was exactly it. That was exactly it. It looks exactly like that. She ripped off a slice for me. But yeah, delicious. I thought you were gonna say like Lama Kundi's nuts in your mouth or something like that. <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna get caught with that. I'm smarter than the average bear. Come on. It's curry on pizza. So is it is it just curry? On top of non bread, that's still pretty bomb, legit Roman. I wouldn't mind trying that. I'm not that kind of person, legit. All good, XK. I, I just gotta be on my toes. I gotta be on my toes for that, man. You know, you know how it is. I got got one day. So, so if you guys are on my Discord, I caught someone with a D's nuts joke, and then and a couple days later, he got me back. So ever since then, man, I, I'm trying to be on my toes so that I never get got again. <laughs> oh man it's not the best there is but yeah it's really good if cooked properly okay okay x cage is right 
I see you, I see you. But yeah, that stuff was delicious, man. It really was. Sad part is I never had it again, ever since high school. That's like 15 years ago, man. Oh, I'm dry. Okay, it pushes it back up. Should have married her. I hate to say this, man, but rumor has it she became a Kardashian. Not an actual Kardashian, but a Kardashian. All right, lovely people, really got to be going now. See you on the next one. Bye-bye from Bulgaria. Have a good one, man. Uh, give Shiva some head rub for me. Hopefully, I didn't get Shiva angry. And, uh, yo, man. If Shiva wants, we'll put uh, Mamba on a zoom-in for uh, the kitty cat to see. <laughs> Have a good one, Anubis. We'll see you next time. What does become a Kardashian mean? She, she saw the lifestyle that was depicted on the TV, reality TV show, and wanted to follow suit. Wanted to live that type of lifestyle. So in turn, she started acting like one, if that makes sense. Yep, Mason, go ahead. Ask away. It's butter chicken pizza, but the pizza crust, not non bread. Oh, it's on a, it's actually on pizza though. Okay, okay. I imagine that it was on non bread because I imagine that'd be a little bit better tasting. But if it's on pizza crust, it's not bad as well. Go ahead, Domain Sin, ask away. Let me know what the question is. So I have the lovely steam vent, the hot one, not the cool one. And the main purpose is energy and water. Uh, yes, it's supposed to provide a heat source for you. That's the main purpose. The fact that it's also the resource you're generating is steam. Steam has a very high specific heat capacity. This is actually the highest out of any gas, I think. And I think you could make super coolant gas, and that's the only thing that's higher than that. Maybe nuclear fallout. Even nuclear fallout is garbage. Okay, only the waste holds the thermal energy. Yeah, so steam is the second most highest on that list of specific heat capacity. So that means the heat energy you generate is really high. Now, it's only 500 degrees, though, but it's 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 a pretty good heat source. But yes, uh, I would say it's more energy than it is a water source. Because as a water source, you have to cool it down a lot. So I would argue it's more so for... So there is a steam turbine a rocket engine that you could pipe that into directly. And since it's very hot over the condensation point, you don't have to worry about that breaking your pipes. That may be one of the upsides about having that. Because you could go into your rocket engine, right? And go for the steam engine. If that's what you want to start out with. And they would just fuel that in with the steam to uh, steam geyser. But I would say energy more so than water. Alright, so... We'll do it like that. Separate rooms. Have you tried Indo Chinese food? Like Chicken Momo? I've never had Chicken Momo, but I had Indonesian food. And they do this thing where they deep fry the noodles before cooking it in a sauce. And that stuff is delicious. I don't know what it's called, but I was eating that for a long time. And then I, I found that there is an instant version called Migo Rang. 
That stuff is delicious. <laughs> I haven't had it in a long time. Now that you bring it up, man, it makes me want to go back and order some. But it's it's really good. They have like a fried chicken uh stir-fried noodle that I just I just love it, man. It's so good. Right now I'm using a saltwater geyser for renewable water, and I already have a cooling loop getting around 25C. Nice. So you wouldn't need the additional water from the steam vent then. But yeah, you could feed that in for power. And then once you have that, you could just probably delete it in the space vacuum or crush it, you know, with a door crusher setup. And by doing that, you wouldn't have to, uh, you know, deal with the hot water anymore. Is that what you're talking about, though, legit Roman? That might be it. That stuff is delicious, though. At least from what I've had. Alright, so I think this is good. I want to line this up insulated. I probably want to do it like this though. Mine that out. And I probably want to do it like that. I want to make it so that we don't bop too much of the abyssal light. We could still grow on that tile though. Oh crap, you know what I just realized? I can't wild plant until I bop a lot of the sleet wheat from here. That's actually one of the problems I have. <laughs> that's, that's actually, yeah, that sucks. Oh, chicken momos are like dumplings. I've never had that then. I've never had that. But yeah, the, I don't even know the... The restaurant had the traditional name, which was in Indonesian, so I don't remember the name of the noodle dish that I had. But yeah, delicious. I would recommend it. So we're going to have to break into here. We're going to grab all the sleet wheat. So we got to do what we got to do. Oh, the Mambas is awake. Mamba stares into the camera. Falling asleep. Opening his eyes. He can't even see. Big yawn. Hear him roar. He is the Mamba. Alright, we're gonna have to break in, go inside, bop a lot of the sleep wheat, because we need to do it. He's so close to the camera, man. Any, any movement pushes him out of the camera again. Feels bad. All right, so we're here. I need to... We'll mine that. And then we'll go this way. I'll have to bop that. And then I want to bop these. And then from here, we bop this. And we need to get to the bottom. And then from here, we need to go this way. And then go to the bottom pocket. And then with that, I think we discover sleet weed, right? Yeah, it's already selected. Nice. Bog jelly. Plant me. Oh, I actually found that. Oh, that's from the second planet, probably. All right, that should be fine. We gotta wait. Oh, they got bopped by the snow. That's fine. So we're gonna be leaking out a little bit of thermal energy. I'm not too worried about that. And we're just gonna be trying to uh, bop the seeds so that we have a uh, easier time planting our uh, pit plants. And then I would have one here. We're going to need seed bins. 
and then the air is probably going to be all oxygen. So we're going to try to deodorize this if we can. I don't want it contaminating anything. Oh, dude. Dude, I love pupusas. Dude. You get the pickled cabbage along with it. Oh, it's so good. Oh my god. What kind what kind do you normally get? We have I have in a, a Salvadorian pupusaria in my area. Because I have really good Mexican uh, food in my area. Dude, delicious man. I need to go back. I haven't gone in a while to get some pupusas. That stuff is delicious. Can we oh damn I overmined feels bad so I need the ladder there actually unless something melted dude man pupusas if you guys don't know are like stuffed tortillas and they stuff it normally with like cheese and meats or beans or or dude it's good I love them So I gotta do this one, like that. I gotta just mine this one up. And I probably do this. And I probably wanna mine this out as well. And then we get the ladder. So that's one, two, three. I could climb up, yeah. First time catching you live, your tutorials have been so useful. Yo man, I'm glad. I am glad that the tutorials are able to help, man. Hopefully you're enjoying the ownings. And yo, welcome on in. That means you're coming in from the YouTubes. Hey man, welcome. And of course, since you're catching me live, if there's any questions you may have, feel free to ask. I'll be happy to help. And yo, dude, appreciate all the supports watching the videos. I know I have been gone recently, but you know, life happens. If you read some of the community posts, you could probably figure out what happened. But uh, yeah, I'm, yeah. Sad times. But we are going to be back soon making some more Oni content. So hey, glad to catch uh, to catch you here. It's good to meet the uh, YouTube fans, of course. And of course, any questions you may have, feel free to ask. I would be happy to help. Since you're catching me live, right? No chicharrones? Chicharron con queso. Quesa, pupusas. No, chicharron is not just pork, though. Chicharron is fried pork skin. That's that's it's it's different. It's different, but that stuff in pupusas is delicious, man. That's actually a great combo. All good, Mister Arrow Capital Fellow. It happens, man. We were, you know, preparing, and. When it happens, man, you just can't help it sometimes. As much as you repair, you can't help but uh, be sad. But yeah, I'm going to be busy in the upcoming weeks too. I got to do a lot of things. You guys probably know what's happening. But yeah, I'm streaming when I can. I don't have time to make a lot of videos right now. So once everything is good, I should be back on the YouTubes. Hopefully uh, keep you guys happy. Dude, I'm telling you, man, I go to the pupusarias to, to, to get this in real life. <laughs> like, I, there, was a, there was a time period, man. I, I was like, dude, I need to get to pupusas today. It's delicious. <laughs> I just can't help it, man. It's good food. Can't complain. Gotcha, Z, uh, Z right night. But yo, man, all good. You don't have to be sorry. It's it's not like you guys wished anything about this. I'm just trying to apologize because I know you guys want the content. And regardless of what happens to me, it's like... I know that the content creation job of, you know, making videos, making content... It's, it's a force of nature in a sense that if you stop producing content... The train will leave and there's nothing you can do about it. So I'm just hoping you guys are understand will keep me in the hearts and uh, do... Hope for, uh, look for me when I get back. 
I want to have a lot of videos, but it's uh, mostly going to be Oni related. I just need you to copy, or not copy, go over more topics outside of just tutorial and guides. I want to do some uh, entertaining stuff too, like storytelling. But uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get to that part. All right, so this is not in the range, right? And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so this is not in the range either. So unless a pip goes inside and plants a seed, I should be good. And then outside of that, I don't think... Yeah, we should be okay. So from there, I don't want this to melt, so we're just going to seal it back up. There is a Wee's Wart. We'll grab that when it's necessary. Oh, there's a Sleet Wee right here. Okay, there's nothing here. This one shouldn't bother me. We should be alright. We should be alright. Alright, so we went into the ice biome. Minimal damage. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to war uh, start wild planting over here. So the next thing we need to build is probably going to be the steam turbine... Aqua tuner setup that we're gonna want. I should probably put it in the back. That's probably the smart play. Let's go for that. I want to hear of a story of a plug slug named Nerp. There once was a plug slug named Nerp. He was named after his little brother, who was a little bit of the color perp. Uh, he had bad posture, but always gave you full power. And then the little plug slug grew and became a small little flower. The end. Wow, I rhymed that. That's pretty good. All right, man. How was the story? Give give me a rating, you guys. Was that a decent story? Was that not good enough? Five out of seven upload to YouTube. Seems legit. Seems legit. How about with rice? How about if I add rice to it? Is it a 10 out of 10? Five out of seven would watch again. Seems legit. Beautiful. I see over there. Peanut butter. Can't, wait, what? Oh, okay. I was like, can I not mind that? You guys are not stuck, are you? You guys are actually stuck. Get out of here. 10 would rise for sure because that's the old Reddit reference no one gets anymore. Hey, there we go. Someone actually got the reference. I feel like Captain America in uh, the Marvel movies. Hey, understood that reference. Hey, got him, boys. I'm basically Cap. Always memeing. No one understands me, though. <laughs> Dude, that's that's a very old Reddit post. If you guys don't know what it was, it was it was a guy tasting food and he was going to give us food reviews. But the kicker was he was going to have it alone and then he was going to have it with rice. I don't know why he chose rice, but it became a meme. And that's how the uh, 10 out of 10 with rice meme started. A lot of foods became 10 out of 10 when eaten with rice, believe it or not. Is that before or after ice soap? Hmm. I don't remember ice soap. Can someone, can someone tell me what happened? Did I miss that? 
dude there's you know man on the internet man there's just so many things happening that until you experience it you don't really know what you missed out on and one of those experiences in my opinion was when twitch played pokemon y'all remember that the very first iteration of twitch plays pokemon that stuff was amazing twitch plays pokemon man oh my god man it was dude it was it was the best i was actually there watching and dude all the things that happened were were just insane and it was it was so entertaining for some reason You thought about it too before I even said it, hey man, dude. It just ah, the five out of sevens, man. The Colton Lord, dude. It was great, man. You had you had what was it? You had the Fawns, a. Hey, there was Bird Jesus, and then you had you had Flareon. Oh god, yeah, I saw it live too. It, it was one of those things that unless you saw it live, you wouldn't know what you actually missed out on. I would say Twitch Plays Pokemon is like one of the best iterations of that statement. Because it was amazing. Twitch Plays Pokemon? Abby? Dude, ATV? The Dragon Slayer? Oh, man. That was a great ending. That was a great ending. ATV, The Dragon Slayer. Ice Soap was nine years old. Wait, wait, wait. So what is Ice Soap? I, I never actually heard about ISO. Did I miss out on something? Mighty Stooge, I see you over there. How are you? Hope you're doing well today. Hope you're having a good Thursdays, man. What is ISO? Just Google Reddit ISO. I gotta remind myself. ISO. Reddit. Alright, I gotta remind myself for post-stream stuff. Alright, so we're gonna build a steam turbine aqua tuner build. And then we have tile, tile. Easy setup. And then we put a steam turbine inside that there. And then I need some ladders. ATV was epic for me because the Venomoth was one of my first Pokemon in Gen 1. You know what was funny? When Pokemon came out, Venomoth was the Pokemon my cousins used to catch Pokemon because it had sleep powder and it was the fastest Pokemon that they had. So he wanted to outspeed the Pokemon. So Venomoth has pretty good speed. And yeah, same thing. <laughs> they wanted to do that for that reason. Venomoth, man. Holy crap. Ice doesn't know about it either. Basically, it's shower on the go with how the guy marketed it. Ice melts and soaps you at the same time. What? Yo, man, that guy's doing the drugs, man. What kind of logic is that? <laughs> what kind of logic is that, man? He's doing the drugs. Something, man. Like, I don't understand the logic. The ice melts and soaps you up at the same time. I'm just kind of like... What? Gotta look it up. Yeah, man, me too. I feel ancient. Nah, man, you you all good, peanut butter. Peanut butter doesn't expire. Actually looks pretty handy. Really? Is it actually legit? Ah, oh, I gotta Google it now, man. What if it's just a sham wow guy trying to sell you another slap chop? I think it was around the time of the science-based Dragon Evolution MMO. I've never heard of such an MMO. What the hell was that? Science-based Dragon Evolution? What? What is that? I've never heard of that before.
yeah, please drop a link in the Discord, Zero Knight. That would help me out a little bit with some uh, reminders, especially. It was a post that got dragged to the top of all. Wow. Very rare. So that was pre-new Reddit algorithm. And to get to the front page back in the days was actually a feat. Now they adjust the likes for inflation and it's kind of garbage now. Not gonna lie. That rings a bell, Cthulhu knows. Basically making fun of a prospective dev who show uh, shares the ambitions idea. Oh, so it never actually became a game, right? Because I'm not going to lie, I was going to be like, that would sound pretty tight. I would have wanted to check that out. But I've never heard of such a game existing back in, you know, basically prime WoW time. Prime WoW era. That's kind of wild, man. Dude. Miss all those memes like that, man. So I missed out on Ice Soap. I missed out on Evolutionary Science Dragons. What else did I miss out on, guys? Was there anything else I missed? Twitch Plays Pokemon was godlike. Oh, I'm vacuuming the room. I'm not blocking it out on purpose. I'm just creating a vacuum right now. <laughs> the purpose of it is to have better efficiency. That's really the reason why. So basically, there is an internal efficiency with the steam turbine. And how it works is that after a certain point, you don't generate... Uh, the same amount of heat deletion uh, heat deletion factor anymore because it's just too hot for the turbine to handle but by blocking off the steam turbine port you increase the max temperature that the turbine is able to input and consume and still have a proportional heat deletion compared to uh not having it blocked so to give you a rough idea, if you block off one steam turbine, you want to hit 250 degrees in order to get max power output. So by blocking off the turbines, you basically scale your turbine and power to the amount of the temperature that you're running. This is typically only used for the very bad design where you have a open magma tank and you put steam turbines on top and you drip water on top of that. Those designs are very barbaric, in a sense, because they've gained some traction recently, but they're probably one of the more primitive designs out there for a steam turbine geothermal plant because of how you can't control the temperature. When you have that happen, you lose a lot of the magma due to the water touching and then solidifying into igneous, and then that becomes a debris tile. You lose a lot of thermal energy in that process, and not only that, you also lose a lot of efficiency in the heat deletion on your steam turbine. So what, a what actually happens is that you have to start cooling down your steam turbine with more efficiency. So you might need more aqua tuners as a result. So by blocking up the steam output port, you could consume hotter steam without really worrying about it. But that's the main reason. In most cases, I will say that it's completely unnecessary. You're always better off, in my opinion, to just run all five. Because the only thing you're giving up is efficiency. But that only really happens if you allow the steam temperature to jump past 200. So if you just control the temperature, you're in a better position. But yeah, it'd be like that sometimes.
narwhal big is at midnight or something like that oh that's the reddit code how do you know if someone's a redditor that used to be the meme but it's dead in the water no one else no one's no one actually uses that anymore <laughs> feels bad then I don't think I could do glitch runs anymore. Sitting at 400 cycles and everything is done. No fun. Aw, oh, feels bad, Slayer. So your... What what glitches are you using? So if you do a glitch-free run, how would that look like? Alright, so that's going to be the pipe. I see you over there, Slayer. Feels bad. Maybe you could grind down the time, start speedrunning? I don't know. But is that really a problem? Being too good at the game? Alright, so if I'm coming out here, and I go through here, so bam, 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 that's not good. So, bam, 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 and then I go out this way, regardless. Yeah, I think that's fine. So I will go over the... Hmm, the gas tiles or the solid tiles? I'm better off touching the solids, though. Oh, just go in like that and just do the solids like that. Oh, that's smart. Okay. This could work, right? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah. The main one is using four petrol duplicators, which basically runs everything else, and abusing infinite Paku farms. Oh, you're actually using the 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 spill duplication method with the Asher waterfall? Come on, man! I don't even use that. <laughs> I see you though. I see you though. When you're sealing off the steam room like that, is there any reason why you use two different types of doors? Uh, the manual airlock is cheaper than the mechanized one, right? It's four hundred versus two hundred. But the mechanized airlock is the only one with automation. So you could use two mechanized airlocks, but it's cheaper to use a manual airlock because it does the same thing. Outside of the cost, that's really it, to be honest. And well, you know, the automation port. Liquid duplicator, you don't even need vents. It's true, man. It's, it's impressive. It's costly, but it would not be cooling the easier with metal tiles instead. Um... Metal tiles would actually probably be better. Yeah, you're right. I could upgrade them to metal tiles, though. Is it, though? Actually, no. It might not be. 449.2. It's actually the same. Mathic rock. And compare that to a iron metal tile. It's the same amount of capacity. The only difference is how fast the thermal energy is spread. In which case, it's going to be 4 versus 1. So it's going to be at this speed. So the metal would spread out the heat faster. So what you're looking at when you're uh, running the radiant piping over something, you're, you have to consider both the mass and the specific heat capacity. Those are the two things you want to look at when you're radiant piping over something. And the reason why is because the higher the specific heat capacity and the mass means the more thermal energy you hold overall. So a lot of the times I hold that higher than anything else, like conductivity, because conductivity just is the speed of which you're able to reach a temperature. So if you have high conductivity, 
it just means that you transfer energy fast. But if you don't hold a lot of energy, it's kind of pointless. So when I'm doing this, that's that's the main thing I consider. Hey man, it's fun fun glitch. No shame allowed. That's true. You know what, man? I'm sorry. Slayer, you, you forgive me, man? You forgive me? We be friends after this? Can we go to Denny's after the stream today? We talk about it, man. Pretty much, I've done all real runs before. Now I'm just trolling around at this point with random mods I find. <laughs> Have you tried the Bader mod? Or the mini base mod? That might be something to play around with. If you know what that is. Uh, so this is not going to run too often, right? I'll just have this connected to the same wire. Yeah, and then we'll run that into my uh, pipeline over here. Yes and yes, my next one is all dark mod. Lights out! I played that. Uh, the, the, the lights out mod, it's tough. Because... If you don't have lights in an area, the only way for you to work is have your... Oh! What's happening? No, I ran out of... I ran out of lime. We're not generating heat anymore. No, and everything's cooling down. Everything's actually cooling down. Did I put too much cold water in here? What's happening? All right, man, we're making a lot of iron. Not a nine. Whoa, I'm out of iron. We're making a lot of aluminum. Not a nine. Dude, this turned off. That's not cool. This is not supposed to turn off, man. We have enough water, though. We have enough water. How did it chill so low? Like, getting to 80 degrees is actually really impressive. Because the lowest I will ever get to is 95 from the liquid vents. So something is... I think I added water accidentally. Like, that's the only thing that comes to mind. Either that or my insulated pipes right here are leaking out thermal energy. Which actually isn't the case because my pipes are at 95. That's really weird. Dude, the dark one is tough, man. I try to do it. You have to micro a lot if you don't have lights everywhere. And it becomes annoying, man. It feels bad. Alright, we're gonna wrangle the... Oh, it's the elderly bug. Alright, this is fine then. And we'll just move the egg. Don't you guys hate it? When you guys can't sweep the egg? You got the inner karate kid in you telling you to sweep the egg. But you can't do it because you can't click on the egg. Feels bad, man. We're just going to have to sweep it this way. There we go. We did it, boys. Sweep the egg. Let's go. And it's going to go right to here. That's a shine nymph, right? I can't even tell. Yeah, I'm going to try it. And then if I'm not, I'll uh, do sky blocks. Hey, I see you over there. I see a Slayer. Alright, so we gotta have this pipeline. I will just double up here, just cuts. And then we'll do it like this. Oh. Okay. There's a little bit of an issue here. Sky blocks? Nah, he's talking about Minecraft, right? So it has to be like this. Oh, I can't reach those. Alright, I'll have to do something about that. Oh, crap. Yeah. 
Now we got to get to this location. Uh, I should be okay. Tile. And then... Tile. Tile. Oh. Tile. Tile. There we go. Have a nice day. Grandpa's you are you heading out? Have a good one, man. See you next time. And dude, you gotta send me that birthday card. Not birthday card. The holiday card, man. With uh, Leo running around with a slice of margarita pizza. Let me know when that happens, man. We gotta make that a meme. But dude, have a good one. We'll see you next time, man. There's a mod in Oni that allows something called holes. It's random space holes throughout your map. Oh, it's like the uh, flipped asteroid, right, Slayer? Where you have space pockets in the middle of your, your your map. I think I've seen that before. You have like a space biome like right here. And then you have a biome on top of that still that's not a uh, meteor shower or anything like that. I've seen that before in some of the map generations. What do they do? No, it's, it's just a space vacuum like this. So you have like a small miniature space hole in the bottom of your map randomly. So it's surrounded by abyssal light and you just have a space exposure. It's actually pretty convenient because you could just dump stuff into it, to be honest. <laughs> At least when I played with it, it was nice to have. Yeah, yeah, free vacuum to throw your garbage into, 100%. So easy carbon skimming, yeah, yep, very convenient. Have you seen any of the Twitch chat picks options for Oni? I have not. If A Squared is here, he could probably elaborate about that. Uh, I think I saw A Squared in the chat. I don't know if he's actually here though right now. He might be gone now. But A Squared, uh, when he was here, he actually is the guy that developed that one. And if Live Action Pixel was here, I don't think he is. He plays that mod. But I don't know if it's out for released. I don't know if it's uh, free for everyone to play with yet. I believe A squared is uh, working on fixing it, making sure it's actually well rounded. And I think live action pixel has dibs, which is cool. LAP get the dibs. You know how they say it, man. You gotta get the dibs. You gotta get the dips. Empty Worlds is the mod you're talking about, but not eligible for DLC. Feels bad, man. Pixel's asleep. He's in England. Oh, that's right. I mean, he could be a night owl. I don't know if he is, though. He never sleeps. <laughs> Dude. I heard a live action Pixel Man. He he got a voice acting gig. He plays an English man. <laughs> I thought that was pretty awesome, man. Oh, that's unreachable. Feels bad. English bloke number two. Yeah. <laughs> what a way to put it, man. Guys, if you guys had a chance to be in a movie as an extra. What kind of movie would you want to be an extra in? Not a voice actor, like in a real movie. And if you guys can, give some examples. Like, like I wanted to be in The Expendables. And I would have been one of the friends of one of The Expendables. Or something like that. Give me like two lines. <laughs> like That'd be kind of cool, right? I get to meet like... Terry Crews, Jet Li, uh, Chuck Norris, all of them. You want to be a red shirt in Star Trek. <laughs> dude, dude, Cthulhu, you know what I saw today that I thought was mad funny? Uh, there's a character in Star Trek called Riker. And he's like super tall or something. There was a clip of him just sitting down in chairs. Him standing up and sitting down in chairs for like 10 minutes. And it's because how he sits down in a chair and how he gets up from the chair is like really weird. I thought it was mad funny, man. 
I saw that. <laughs> I thought it was mad funny. I am an extra in Punisher. The crap one filmed in Tampa, Florida. Wait, th there was a bad Punisher movie? I I'd, I'd never heard about it. What scene was a geek? Mighty Stoosh knows, man. The stunt double in a wig. Wait, what movie though? You gotta name a movie. Oh, the Riker chair thing is a huge meme. Dude, I saw that for the first time today. It was pretty funny, man. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I guess he's so tall and the chairs are so low that, like, how he gets in and out of it, dude. Someone said it was because he had back problems and by by sitting up and down like that it reduces the pain i don't know if, if that's a meme or if that's real but that's something that i read <laughs> I, I just didn't know if that was true or false all right so the ethanol pool is topped off so we do have ethanol and my wood is at thirteen thousand units so we need more wood still i don't have a stockpile that i'm happy with all right, so that goes like that. Cancel. I heard it was because he... I heard it was because sitting repeatedly for all the takes exacerbated his back pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It had something to do with his back pain. And then, like, sitting like that reduced it. Something like that. Like, it was easier for his back. And that works nice. And then this is our loop. And then this comes straight out. Easy. It was a spur of the moment thing, and I was headed to the library at the University of Tampa. They asked me 15 minutes of walking. Oh, nice. I, was, I have no idea what I was doing. What scene it was, it was just using a computer. <laughs> I got you, I got you, Geek. All right, all right. So now we just gotta add a little bit of water. No time shift plates should be needed. And the last thing I'm gonna need is to add in my ethanol. So, sleet weed is what? Negative 55 to 5. So, we'll just do minus 10. That should be fair, because that brings us to minus 24, with the low part being minus 10. Yeah, okay, so now all we need is ethanol. Oh, man. I don't know if I have enough ethanol to spare. <laughs> Well, if that's the case, we could probably fill that up next time, and I need to start wrecking out this area. I need to start moving this so that we can build more trees right here. So the first thing we got to do is remove this. Oh, <gasps> the Cuddle Pip's dead! No, it died of old age! Oh, I don't have a Cuddle Pip anymore. That was my rare one Cuddle Pip. Feels bad, boys. Feels bad. We used to have a couple pip, but uh, died of old age. All right. So, as of right now, we're going to have to move all this polluted dirt. I know, man. It's a sad time. It's a sad time indeed. Oh, but I need more sand. God damn it. We have so much granite that I'm just gonna start crushing it. And then we got to start crushing or generating more ceramic. I'm out of sand, boys. Feels bad. Feels bad, man. The Cuddle Pip's dead. It didn't deserve a life like that. It should have been immortal. And now the CO2 is, a, it's, is climbing up a little bit. Oh yeah, that melt is fine. All right, so here we could remove this. Here, here, here. Remove all of that. 
these reservoirs have a lot of water. I don't know what I want to do with that yet, though. And then I do want to get rid of my Peter. That is something I would want to try to uh, keep doing, but I don't have enough uh, sand for that, sadly. I think now, when I get sand, it's going to be so hot that I can't utilize it for my sub sublimation stations anymore. I have to pause when I say sublimation now, man. It feels bad. <laughs> sublimation. At least I don't say sublimination anymore. Alright. So the oxygen... Dude... I'm actually not keeping up. I'm actually not keeping up. Oh my god. This is gonna have to shut off, even though it's running constantly. Dude, that's wild. I'm not keeping up with the oxygen demand right now. Dude, okay. All right, all right. You know what I got to do? I got to close the door. <laughs> We're letting all the oxygen out from the door right now. Feels bad. The breathability is getting kind of low. Damn, I was supposed to be okay with just this. Our oxygen levels should be okay, though. I just need to start removing some CO2. Actually saying it right now? Yeah, man. We gotta get stronger, better, faster, stronger. I said stronger twice, right? Feels bad. Alright. So even if I were to move more water into here, it doesn't really help me out. I guess I do want to redo the pipelines. Okay, so let's check this out. We could have this be clean water. Right? And that would come in from the brine line. So I would have a desalinator here. Which I don't mind. I could have a desalinator right here. Would you trust crude oil liquid locks? For holding in a steam chamber? I trust it for my carbon dioxide bomb. If that helps you uh, with that. Face for radio. So I have... 900 kilograms per tile of CO2 right here that will easily flood my base if it breaks. I'm just saying. And this has been here for a good 400 cycles. And it hasn't leaked from the Slixers either. Or from the... Well, there used to be the petroleums over here. But we moved them recently. So it's only at 500 kilograms per tile now. So I've actually done the one drop lock that is not foolproof like this. I've done the version where it's like this. And the oil was on this tile. And then my box is like that. And I use that to prevent anything from going into the lava for a geothermal power plant. And that's lasted for 500 cycles as well. Now, I say all that. I recently did have a glitch here where oxygen would teleport in, teleport into this room. So it would go from this tile to this tile to this tile. And that's how I have oxygen on this tile. The crazy thing with that is, is that it didn't break the lock. It literally just teleported diagonally. So I don't know if that was a weird glitch because it only happened here and not in any of my other locks on this side. The polluted oxygen is from my ethanol and the polluted dirt. In the very beginning, I had a little bit of pea dirt off gas in. But yeah, I don't know why that happened over here. It was a weird thing happening, I will say that. Alright, so we're going to use ethanol for that. We got to mop up the water. And I think we're going to reroute the salt water into here so that we have more polluted water. I probably need to make an infinite pressure tank for this soon. That's probably something I need to do soon. Oh, man. Look at my cat. Looks like he's dead. His arms are just facing up. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, man. I'm trying to uh, put off going into the oil bound for now, but I do have just a bit of crude for some uh, slicksters I got from the pot. Oh, yeah, nice. Doing that is a great way of sealing off going into the oil biome. Okay, that's a lot of the times a giant source of heat. Even though it's only 70 degrees Celsius, it's gonna you're going to find it that it's going to be tough to cool down that entire area. So having a, a small little liquid lock design like that usually helps out pretty well. I should actually do this as well. All right, so I want to move my desalinator over to here. I'm probably just going to use iron, to be honest. And then I want the desalinator to be here so we can feed up to this pipeline. Since it's already here, right? And then that just feeds into here. We could also make it so that this one has priority. Yeah, that probably makes sense. So we'll set that up later. So this is going to be the lukewarm salt water that we're going to be getting. I need to get rid of these ladders first off. And then this water pipeline goes back into here. So I probably cut this for now and have this be bathroom water again for the rockets. We got bathroom water still. Okay, so we're gonna want the desalinator there. So for me to keep that cool, we have a loop right here that I could probably extend out to here for the time being. But I'll think about that after I have my pipeline situated. So the crazy thing is, all of this goes out to here, right? And we're holding the water here. This comes out this way. So I could break this, have the bridge here flip to the other side. That works. And then that goes out this way. I probably cut this line, this goes that way, I flip this bridge, and then it should come out here. Hold up. Do I pull this out that way or should I pull from here? I should pull it up from the top, right? Otherwise the overflow kind of fails. Well at the same time it fails anyways if it's already occupied. So I'll keep the pipe up high. Wait, that's kind of in the way. Maybe I move over my sieve really quick so that I could straighten out this pipeline and bridge over it. Which would mean though that I want to do this. Yeah. Just got to clean up some of my pipes, some of the spaghettis. The necessary uh, changes, you guys. And then I need my bridge here. And then power. Power is fine. And we got the water. Yes. Right, before we flip the directions of all the other pipelines, let's get this situated first. So this is the regular pipeline that we're feeding in and out. I probably want to bop this. Yeah, because we're no longer going to need this anymore. So let's get rid of that. Let's bop this pipeline so the water starts moving backwards. And I'm actually going to delete the water so that it's a little bit faster. So go with a 50. Crush the water. Let's go back up to 90. So it's going to empty out again so this water could come out. Let's allow that to have priority for now. So I can get rid of this pipeline now. Both of them. Because we're no longer going to need this. Let's change this to below so all the water gets to leave. Change it back. And then this is connected now. So I should be able to do this. 
And then this is going to do its thing now. Nice. So all the pipeline stuff here is gone. Dude, we gotta clean up all the spaghetti. All the unnecessary spaghetti. Gotta clean it up, boys. Alright. So this is gone. And then this goes into here. So the water coming down kind of worries me, to be honest. Or did it move up? I'm actually not sure. Very satisfying getting to clean up the uh, piping clutter. 100%. 100%. Like, gotta redo the wire sometimes, too, to clean it up. Can't wait to clean everything up, make it look amazing. Have a great night, legit. Bye-bye, Mamba. Have a good one, Deconverse. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for hanging out. And yo, man, have a good one, Deconverse. We will see you next time. Take care, dude. And hope you have a great Friday tomorrow. Oh, 480 plus 1680. What's the math on that? I could probably pull it off, right? It's exactly when both shearing stations are on that I kind of fail. Well, no. If one of them turns on. Can I replace one of the... Oh, I could replace one of these with the regular wire. Maybe I should try to do that soon. Maybe it's this that I got to replace and put that on this wire instead. Hmm. Uh, we'll change it up later. Let's remove the pipelines first. All right. So I would cut this. Delete these two. And then it's like that. There we go. And now I get to delete that. Oh, and the kitty cat's awake. He knows. <laughs> the kitty cat knows what time it is. Oh, man. So now that that's going to be the new line, we know that it's going to bridge on this way. And then we'll probably want this coming out like that. To connect into here that's pretty fair and then i could get rid of this line i could probably reroute this to come out parallel with this line it's probably not going to matter too much though and then the only thing i have to convert is this bridge now after this bridge, I just have to cut off this line, and then everything here is going to be removed. So that would go into here, come out of here. That's not plugged in yet, so I can't do anything with that. That's actually pretty clean. I could probably get rid of both bridges here. Believe it or not, I think I can. As long as I get rid of this, it would all probably work properly. I think that's all I would need to change. Now, some of the pipeline is a little bit ugly. So I may want to redo some of the pipelines. So let's work it from this side. So this comes in from here, which is going to be this line replaced. So this comes in the feedback down the ladder, through the tile, down the ladder, through the top. All of this is in tiles. Can't really be mad about that. Mamba on his fifth life, uh, funky trumpets, starts to play. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mamba number five. Hey. Dude, Mom was a legend. He has a song named after him. That's the fifth song named after him. That's the thing about that. 
You got to hear the first four, dude. One, two, three, four, five. Everybody, everywhere, gonna get the live end. They start talking about women. I remember that. I know that song. It used to be a banger. They don't play that that often anymore, though. Hmm. So, this is a cool line. So it doesn't have to be cold. I guess I would want I would want to run the cold line inside the insulated tiles if I could. But at the same time, there's nothing wrong with the setup here. It just looks kind of ugly. <laughs> That's 20 years old? Damn, man. 20 years ago, I was in middle school. That song was popular when I was in elementary school. We loudly sing it into the cafeteria to annoy the teacher on duty. Don't ask how I know that. Ah, you know. If, if you're talking about radio in your name... You gotta be a boomer too, dude. What's a radio? I'm just saying, man. Kids these days don't know what a radio is. Alright, so I think this is fine. And we'll get to fixing this part. So, bridge? Bridge. It's that thing from the old movies. Nice. Radio is at least in cars is still. Dude, man. Cars don't have radios. They just have USB ports. And people arguing on who gets to choose the song. <laughs> hey, man. Pass the auxiliary. Aw, oh, man. You play that trash music. Come on. Get out of here. You're not going to get no auxiliary permissions. Y'all ever had to deal with that, man? Y'all ever had to deal with that back in the day? You have to homie with the iPod. And it's like, it's cool. And he has all types of music on it. But then the guy using the iPod is just selecting like the weirdest songs. Happens every time. Oh, this is back in action. Nice. Steam temperature is only at 100 though. The water right here is not becoming steam just yet. We're getting there though. We are getting there. My current ride still has a tape deck and a CD changer. Oh, dude. The CD changer in your uh, trunk, dude. That's how you know it's serious. The CD changer in the trunk. That's how you know it's serious, man. Those were the days, man. Those were the days. I was the person picking the weird songs. I see you over there, deep fried peanut butter. I see you over there. Not the problem with the weird songs, man. This is, you know, just right place, right time. It's not every day of the week is good for the weird songs. Alright, we're going to remove that and have that take its place. 560. That's still not enough, huh? So I have to chance one of these, exactly one of these. Which is probably okay. I don't like how the dupes climb up the regular ladders. What the hell? <laughs> you guys got plastic ladders, man. What are you guys doing? Oh, and they're going through the sand. Nice, nice. So we're crushing granite still? Yes, we are. Let's go for some more ceramic crushing. And let's max this out again. Arbor 8? I don't actually don't need that. And everyone else is... Uh, we're going to pass on them. What do Mamba's ears feel like? Ooh, so... A regular cat's ears... Feels like it's... Uh, thicker. Like, there's actually like... 
like there's like it feels like there's something inside mamba's ears they feel thinner and it kind of feels like if you've ever had a worn out wallet that might be the way to kind of describe how it feels like it's like the the if you have a genuine leather wallet and then it's like you have nothing inside if you rub the wallet the the, the material right like between your fingers that's kind of how it feels like except there's a little bit of hair on it so it feels literally just like leather like for lack of better words but it's a distinct different feeling it feels different from regular cats because when I first got Mamba, that was immediately the first thing I recognized. I was like, wow, his ears feel different. Not even looks different, it just feels different. It also helps that Mamba loves getting his ears rubbed. So, I know how the ears feel like. Because I'm always giving him his ear rubs. And it's built. Nice. So, I want to cut that. Take the power line. Connect, connect. And then we will connect this here. So now this is fine. So everything else should be okay. So I should be able to cut that off. Have this connect to the top. And then bop this. We're also going to bop that. And we're going to have this connect to it like this. And it should be good. I'm going to look at this water bubble. See where it goes. If this gets jammed, and this is at the very beginning of the loop, we know that we have a problem. But it looks like we're okay for now. All the water is following in suit. The fuzzy baby. Dude, man, his ears feel amazing. I think we got it. Okay, so we're going to deconstruct these pipes now. I think it's good. All right, so we could remove two bridges here and just have the pipeline go straight in. I don't think it's going to be necessary, but I might want to do it. <laughs> might as well. Might as well. Just make the pipes a little bit cleaner looking. And then that goes into here, and then we're piped is blocked. Oh. So now that's where this comes in, huh? So I do that, and then I gotta do this. And then I gotta wait for that to be built. Basically, I'm forcing this to yield to this pipe so that this always has room to uh, output the water. And then we're just going to make up whatever it is that they're missing with this pipeline. Come on! We need you to stand here. Can anyone stand here and do the thing? Nope. Can I, can I up the priority? Whoa, what the hell? There we go. I'm just trying to cut the wires, man. Just trying to do my job. Hey, there it is. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, that was fast. Who was that? Coming in with the speed? All right, all right. So this will stay there for a while. The water gets warmer. I actually don't mind that. We absorb a little bit of the heat generated by the hydrogen generators. And then we also run a cooling loop right here for the cook. Just a slight uh, cooling setup. All right, that works pretty well. We're waiting for this pipeline now. All right, so that means I could delete this now. That also means I don't need power here anymore. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, that also means I don't need this anymore. My hamster wheel setup for the meta refinery. The temporary setups. Guys, I told you guys. The temporary setups were going to eventually go away. And today was the day. <laughs> we got rid of a lot of the temporary setups. Let's go. 
All right, there is the pea dirt here that I was putting here so that these guys are better off. This is a priority seven. These are priority nines. Oh, so I need to do it like this. Because what's happening is, is that we need to be taking it from here and dropping it off here. We're not doing that. Hmm, I got an idea though. Would it be better for me to just drop off the polluted uh, polluted dirt, dirt there by itself? So basically remove this, take it off the power line, and then put a conveyor rail chute. And then have a loader on this side, so we just carry it here and deliver. And then I wouldn't need the water lock anymore. Huh. I wouldn't actually need the water lock there anymore. We just have polluted dirt coming in from a chute. <laughs> Going into the uh, deodorizers. I want to do it because... Hmm. You're a better man than me. I just start calling out my temporary setups permanent out of laziness. Dude, I, I was going to do that too. But chat, chat was there to make sure I didn't do it. When I started making my temporary setups, everyone in chat was like, okay, temporary, right. And I was like, what do you mean? It is temporary. They're like, nah, it's, it's going to be for life. Lo and behold, I moved a lot of them. I moved a lot of them. So uh, honestly, um, I can't be mad. And then we could probably start... Hmm, so there is something called rusty oxidizing. I might do this just for the iron. I'm thinking about it. And I, I think I will do it just for the iron. I hear you, Mamba. I know, I know. So I'm thinking about making a submerged setup for this so that I could uh, oxidize my rust and get iron ore so that I never run out of iron. Because that's probably where I'm generating the most heat from right now. Just making a lot of iron. <laughs> it's probably worthwhile too. Yeah, why not? Now, before I do that though, I do need to remove a lot of things like these reservoirs. And then I probably, man, this is tough. Oh, feed the Mamba, it's time. It is time. Babies are getting fed. If you guys don't know what that is, we're going to feed the babies, and we're going to follow the guy that fed them. Cthulhu, where you at? Oh, shit. This guy fed Mamba. He's going to get fed today. We're setting it up. He's going to be eating tuna with vegetables today. Sadly, that is the only flavor of choice for the Mamba. He sees me showing it off in the camera and he's mad and he's yelling at me. <laughs> That's what Mamba's going to get today. He's going to get some tuna soup. And Mamba has a preference for this, actually. I fed him other types of wet food. He's, he's not a fan. He likes this. Things. And it's probably because it's soup. He doesn't have to chew it. Y'all hear the mamba just yelling in the background? <laughs> He's a soup cat. What can you do about it, man? 
Thank you so much, Cthulhu, for feeding the Mambas today. I like how it calls for food. It it see he sees me, man. He sees me uh feeding him. He's I'm holding the wet food. Anytime I hold it in my hand, he runs up to me. He knows. But he gets his suit. Look at that, man. He has chunks of tuna inside. He gets to lick the bowl clean. He's not even sitting down. That's how excited he is. He's like, oh, yes, yeah, soup. And yes, he has kibble. He has kibble. He has his water fountain. So he has food. He just holds out for the wet food sometimes. So you guys know how the kitty cats are. But thanks so much, Kutu Long, for feeding the Mambas today. Nice, nice. You know, I read something that was saying that cats, if they uh, like you as a person, the only thing they will ever do is scratch furniture. Like, they don't do anything else. And I was like, I don't know if that's true. And I'm thinking about it. That's that's kind of Mamba. Mamba, I know he's he, he loves me. And he doesn't really do anything except, you know, extend his claws on the carpet. He doesn't pee anywhere. He doesn't poop randomly. There hasn't been anything to kill inside the house. So I don't know if he'll bring me a dead body. You guys know how cats are. They will hunt something and show you the prize. Oh! <gasps> It evolved into meat. What was that? That was a Sweetle, wasn't it? Yeah, there's a Grub Grub egg right here. Yep, that was a Sweetle, all right. Feels bad. Mine hunts plushies. Oh, I don't have any plushies. I bought cat toys for him, and he will randomly dive at the mouse, the mouse toys. And there are times where I'm playing with them, he will demand being played with like he will yell and make you make it known that he is not pleased that i stopped playing with him i have the fishing rod thing that he chases around and he's he's mad when i stop playing with him randomly so if i start playing with him i gotta make sure he's satisfied before i get stop. feels bad man. otherwise he gets angry you don't like mamba when he's angry All right, so this area, um, this area is going to be a pain because it's going to be too cold to grow arbor trees. So I'm going to have to warm up the area somehow. I don't know how I'm going to do it though, but I'm going to have to warm it up. Ah, oh, man, I guess I could put a tepidizer inside, just melt everything. I'm going to need to mine this out as well. I hope I don't mine this open and it freezes all my trees. Ooh, that would be the worst case situation. It gets way too cold for the trees to keep growing. Feels bad, man. You know what? We'll probably have to uh, deal with this next time. But guys, it's going to be time for me to wrap things up for the night. We made some good progress today. We got this done. We have our platform over here as well. So that we could do the uh, rocket missions if we have to. So it's pretty good. Thanks for the stream. Thank you guys for being here and hanging out today, man. Appreciate you guys. So let's get that saving.